Hey, what's happening, guys? Today I'm going to be just as surprised as you as what's in this package because I really don't know, other than it's electronic stuff. I was uh, search searching around on eBay looking for different stuff, and as a search term, I simply put in electronic components and I came across this particular ad. Mix lock grab bag electronic components, caps, resistor, semiconductor, IC LEDs. 449 plus 365 shipping. I thought, oh, wow, let's just see what's in there. So it is from Obligon. 100%. So, you know, thought we'd give it a try. I haven't opened it. This came in the mail. Let's see what we get. I see diodes, capacitors, LEDs, inductors, transistors. There seems to be quite a bit in here. Let me uh, reposition the camera and take a look. I tell you what, it's quite well packed. There's a lot of stuff here. So we've got some resistors. They are unmarked for value, but that's easy enough to find out. Looks like we have uh, at least two different sizes. These ones are probably a watt. These are about a quarter watt. Some amber LEDs, three millimeter. These look like they're purplish pink, five millimeter. Uh, three millimeter greens. Five millimeter dark red. Oh, look at this. Little LEDs on a 90 degree edge connector. Very nice. Individual red LED. There's a uh, yellow LED with the little edge connector. There is a uh, IC socket. Here is an IC. Well, we'll look at it in a minute. Some more resistors. 5 millimeter. These look to be clear, but it's, there's a G on there, so maybe they're green. Three millimeter, these are pale blue. That looks like about it for, nope. There's one of those 90 degree uh, LEDs, edge connector. Okay, I think we got through all those. What else we got now? Here's some capacitors. Surge brand capacitor. 220 microfarad. These are very hard to read. 22 microfarad. 22 microfarad. 470 microfarad. That's that's a nice selection. 1200 microfarad 10 volt. Fifty volt two point two microfarad. Little diodes, we'll take we'll check those out. Some more diodes there. Here are some uh, single inline resistor packages. Inductor. Four point one two micro Henry. Here's another one. Seven point two four micro Henry. All kind of neat stuff here. Here's a little eight pin. Again, I don't know what that is. I'll have to look it up. 
Here's a crystal. 6.1760 megahertz. Mobs, I'm not sure. Another individual capacitor. Hexon. 22 microfarad. 200 volt. Can't quite tell. Check that out. <laughs> Here's something with very short leads. Also have to check that out. Bunch of uh, bent pre-bent uh, little resistors. What do you got there? I can't, I can't even read these. I want to get a magnifying glass. All right, let me look up some of these and I'll be right back. Okay, the tiny writing on that IC says 4118R-051-001 and it's got a little fancy B on there which means it's a Borns chip. And while I can't find um, an exact match, the closest one I could find here was 031. Um, it is a resistor network. And it may be 10 kilo ohms. But I'm not quite sure on that. But that's what that first IC is. Next up is this little 8 pin guy here, which is a PM07AH. Ignore that. It also says LM311N. It is a comparator chip. Nice. Alright, this little guy is completely blacked out. I can't read it. So, I'm going to use a trick I learned from watching uh, Kangaroo Dave's channel. And that is to use some heat sink, sink compound. And see, it, whoops, that always happens. I always end up with like 18 times too much. What we'll do is we'll... Well, now I changed the light, I can see it just fine. Hold on. All right, next we've got this little guy, which is labeled 32A350P35SNE. It has the ST Microelectronics uh, logo on it. And we find out that this is a MOSFET, 600 volt, uh, VDS 30 volts. It's, of course, a TO220. Not a lot more uh, information on it. Doo -doo. Yeah, that's about it. All right, next up is this guy, CK05BX102K. This is a radial ceramic capacitor, 100 picofarad. 10% 200 volts. These are about a buck a piece. This isn't a cheap, uh, cheap little thing here. Okay, this one here is uh, an A13, which is an NPN bipolar Darlington transistor. Yep, that's how I find this stuff out. I just Google it. I don't remember everything. Anyway, uh, looks like there are a couple different companies that manufactured this. Amps being one of them, so all right. Not having much luck on this one, as far as I can tell. This is our key number here, the 8017, which may mark it as a capacitor, which makes sense with the 100 volts, but it doesn't give any capacitance uh, reading on here. So maybe, maybe not. Just can't tell. So that's a whole lot of stuff for four dollars plus shipping. I'm pretty happy with that purchase, and uh, I might just buy a couple more of these and see what else we can get. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace. So, you stuck around for the post credit scenes, did you? Marvel's got you spoiled. But we are going to take a look at these LEDs. I've got the uh, power supply set up for 3 volts at 10 milliamp, which should be enough to light just about any of these. 
Let's start with these and see if they are uh, clear or green. Oh, you big dummy. You didn't turn your output on. Yep, they're green. Now let's take a look at these pinkly purple ones, which have no outer markings on them. But if we look at these, uh, yeah, this one had a flat on this side here where I'm pointing with my pinky, which has the anvil. So that's the anode. So we should be good. I'm sorry, that's the cathode. Oh, those are red, and I tell you what, those are super bright. That's almost like a laser. All right, yellows. Yeah, those aren't very bright. They're more like a signaling LED. You know, an indicator, rather. The greens. Wow, super bright again. Little blues. Mm. Low brightness. Now I'm really interested in these dark red ones. There we go. Very nice. And there was a uh, a single one. So they all work, and they're all good.